she is to upgrade an Olympic bronze and a world silver into a gold. Hassan is still in that group, just towards the back. Running now just in front of Ailish McColga, who's out of picture. But it's Tai leading. Gide now on the inside with Helena Beery on the shoulder of the two Ethiopians. Kip Karui is the Kenyan who represents Kazakhstan and Kip Kemboy, silver medalist. Three years ago in Doha, she's still very much in the mix, but this injection of pace has at least begun to whittle down this group, but they're coming round now. And there's at least 10 women still bunched together in that group. Ailish McColgan desperately trying to hang on. Sivan Hassan is in that group, as is Schweitzer. Surely, though, Latessa Bengide has got to make a really big move here because we know she just can't sprint with the others towards the very end. And this is where the likes of Schweitzer, if she can hang on to this group, maybe the fact that she can cover 1,500 in four minutes, give or take a couple of tenths of a second, could play into her hands. These next two laps are going to be really crucial. It seems like Gide has got a bodyguard in Taye, a wing person just on her shoulder there, pushing the likes of Helena Beery wide. If anyone's going to attack Gide, Taye is going to have a really good go at holding them up. You can see Gide just wagging her finger uh, to the inside. Kazakhstan's Kip Karui maybe just clipping her heels a little bit. Kip Karui having a great race, sticking to her task in third place at the moment. Helena Beery has looked poised to strike for around about three or four laps now but this is crunch time Sifan Hassan she's there she's at the end of the uh, end, back of the group she's not done anything yet but see just there she can see there's a potential danger she gets stuck behind Schweizer and that group that back gap opens up to the group and she loses them that can be problematic so Sifan Hassan the reigning champion making positive but quiet moves at the back of the group Gide just had a little look round there just to see where everybody was. Taie though, I just wonder whether this 22 year old could seize the moment and the opportunity and join an illustrious list of women to have won this title, including the mercurial Tiranesh Tabarba, the only woman thus far to successfully defend this crown winning in 2005 and 2007 and the Ethiopians in the crowd are beginning to get excited there are three of them still in this group but Sifan Hassan is still there and so too are both of the Kenyans it's not just Helen Abiri Margaret Kipkemboy just behind her teammates Hassan is in touch with this group and the other Ethiopian still very much in this as well sixth fastest in the world this year Malati to go Ethiopia one and two Kenya three and four they're coming round now to begin to lap one or two of the athletes Daniel of Eritrea is having a fantastic race just about staying with this Schwarzer is at the very back of that group we've got a little bunch of five and then four who are running in single file so we're now down to less than ten still in contention for this 10,000 metre title I was a beery, Gide or Taie, I couldn't be doing it because this is too fast. But if, I, I've dropped the hammer now. Sivan Hassan is at the back of the group. If you go now, you're going to get that crucial 20, 30 metres on her without her even realising she could be caught up in traffic. They're lapping runners. It's getting busy down there. Helen Beery tried to make a move and it was neutralised by Gide and Taie. They swung round her and got into control again. But I don't think they're going any faster than the 71s we saw when they overtook Ailish McColgan a few laps ago. They've really got to get moving very soon if they want to run the sting out of Safan Hassan. 3.59 she ran in the closing 1500 metres to take the title in Doha. If they leave it any longer, you think the Dutch woman's got more and more of a chance of defending that title. Just less than three laps to go. Surely, Latessa Bet-Gide, if she's got anything in the tank, she needs to start thinking about a big wind-up. Abiri would desperately, desperately love to win a medal, if not the title, over 10,000 metres. The defending champion, Sifan Hassan, is still in touch in that group in around about fifth or sixth. 
another athlete about to be lapped. Taedo looks so composed, her body language indicates she's still comfortable. Gide just about somehow finding a gap, or does she, through on the inside. Abiri is the first of the two Kenyans. Kip Kenboy just ever such a slightly taller figure. And Malati, the third Ethiopian, still in that group. What kind of sprint can Sifan Hassan find in this race? What kind of form is she in? She just goes past the lap runner. The Eritrean will be spat out the back of that group. Oh, this is starting to get so exciting. The Ethiopian flag's just in front of me above the finish line. I'm beginning to really wave and get interested here. Three Ethiopians still in that group. Schweitzer hanging on at the back, the crowd on the far straight, getting excited about the presence of the American. We are witnessing some of the all-time great female 10,000 meter runners. Latessa Bekide is the world record holder. Twice she's been on the podium in the last two global editions of 10,000 meter races. Silver in Doha, bronze in Tokyo. Both times it was Hassan who took the title. What can the Dutch woman produce here? Because we have around about 550 metres to go. This is getting super tense. The previous lap was 70 seconds. That was the fastest we've seen. Helen Abiri claims she could drop a sub-60 and she's getting herself in position to do just that. Gide lifts her pace ever so slightly but could Safan Hassan all the trouble she's had this year. A long recovery mentally and physically from the Olympic Games followed by a calf strain. It's all to fight for as they hit the mark. Gide from Abiri. Inside the last 400 metres in the women's 10,000, Latess and Bet Gide striking out for glory, but Hassan is tracking the leading quartet. The noise is huge down the back straight. Gide retains on her shoulder. Remember the youngster beat Latess and Bet Gide over 5,000 metres, Kip Kemboy trying to stay with the pace and Hassan is winding up for a big finish what a title defence this will be for Sifan Hassan, she's done nothing all season and she's coming up onto the shoulder of Gide, Abiri comes through and blocks Tai on the inside what a battle, who's got the heart, who's got the belief who's got the drive and the acceleration one of the great 10,000 metre races, Gide desperate for the win is it going to be her turn, she looks over her shoulder, Abiri's coming she drifts out Latess and Bet Gide by the narrowest, narrowest of margins. Turns silver from Doha into gold here in Eugene. Helena Beery tried to come wide on the outside. And at last, at last, the world record holder becomes the world champion. My goodness me, it was close. It was anyone's race from the top four coming down the home straight. So many times she's been outkicked, but not today. She reigns supreme here, and this is the track where you feel the glory, and Latessa Mekide does. At last, she's a global champion over 10,000 metres.